Hello friends, welcome to Texta Diesel. In this video, we will make a home automation project where we can control any 110 or 220 volt AC load from our smartphone. As you can see, I am controlling the different light connected with the 220 volt AC source from my smartphone. Like that, we can control any home appliance from our smartphone. The circuit is very simple. During the project, I will explain the circuit diagram and the Arduino code so that you can easily make the project in your home. And if you not yet subscribe our channel, please do subscribe. It will encourage me to make more such useful videos. So let's get started. Now to make the project, we need a HC05 Bluetooth module, Arduino Nano. You can also use Arduino Uno if you want, but in this project, I am going to use Arduino Nano, a relay module, two register of two kilo ohm and four point seven kilo ohm. And we will implement the circuit on this breadboard. Now in this Bluetooth module, you will find 6 pin. But we will not use these two side pin. We will use RXD, TXD, ground and VCC pin of this Bluetooth module. Now let's build a circuit on the breadboard which will be look like this. In the circuit you can see we have connected 5 volt from Arduino to VCC pin of the Bluetooth module. And ground pin of the Bluetooth module is connected with the ground pin of the Arduino. And we have connected transmitter or TXD pin of the Bluetooth module to receiver or RX pin of Arduino. But while connecting the receiver pin of Bluetooth module to transmitter pin of Arduino, we have used a voltage divider. Because the logic level of the Bluetooth module is 3.3 volt, but for the Arduino it is 5 volt. So we have used a voltage divider to drop down that 5 volt signal to 3.3 volt. Here you can see we have used to register as a voltage divider. We have connected the transmitter pin of the Arduino to 2 kilo ohm register and the ground pin of the Arduino to 4.7 kilo ohm register. And we have connected the receiver pin of the Bluetooth module at the middle of the two register. And we have also used the four digital pin of the Arduino, pin 8, 9, 10, 11, to turn on and turn off the respective relay. You can see I have connected all the component as per the circuit diagram and I have given 12 volt DC supply for the relay module and I will supply 5 volt DC to the Arduino from my laptop. Now I am going to upload the code for Arduino but before that I have to remove the wire from TX and RX pin of the Arduino otherwise I will get error while uploading the code. You can see I have removed the two wire from the TX and RX pin. Now I can connect the Arduino with my laptop I will explain the code after testing the circuit now after uploading the code I have connected the RX and TX pin with the Bluetooth module to connect this Bluetooth module with the smartphone I will use this Bluetooth Arduino app you can use any other app available in the Play Store so after that I have to scan for the Bluetooth module and you can see it's showing HC05 which is this Bluetooth module so I have to pair the Bluetooth module with my smartphone so it asking the password and it already given me the hint of the password which will be 0000 or 1234 so I will type here 1234 and press the OK button after pairing the Bluetooth module I have to go to Bluetooth Arduino app and you can see the LED is blinking on the Bluetooth module now if I press on this HC05 on my smartphone you can see LED stop blinking or the blinking rate of the LED is change which indicate the Bluetooth module is paired with my smartphone. So now I can easily turn on any of the relay from this smartphone. Let me show you if I want to turn on the relay one I have to tap on switch one like that I can turn on the relay two. I can turn on the relay 3, I can turn on the relay 4 and I can control any of the relay from the smartphone like this manner. Now I am going to explain you the Arduino code which I have used in this project. Then we will connect some LED bulb with the relay module and control those LEDs from the smartphone. This is the code I have used in this project. In the board setup first I have defined the broad rate which is 9600. Then I have written the pin mode function 8 output which indicate pin 8 will be the output pin. Like that I have defined the pin 9, 10 and 11 as a output pin. 
then in the void loop i have checked if there is any data available in the serial port so if there is any data it will read the data with the serial read function and store it to data variable then we will compare the received data with predefined character in the switch statement here you can see if the received data is capital z then it will turn on the relay connected with the digital pin 8 here you can see we have used the digital write function and it will turn on the relay connected with pin 8 as i have written high like that if the data is small z then it will turn off the relay connected with the digital pin 8 as i have written low so in the same manner i am controlling the relay connected with pin 9 pin 10 and pin 11 so as you can see the code is very simple you can modify the code as per your requirement now i am going to connect some 220 volt load with the relay module as per the circuit diagram as you can see in the screen and control those load from a smartphone here you can see i have connected this led with this relay 1 and i have connected this incandescent lamp with this relay 3 so now again i have to open the bluetooth arduino app to control these two lamp from my smartphone and i am connecting it by pressing hc05 you can see the led stop blinking now here if i click on the led bulb you can see the led turns on again if i press it it will turn off the led like that if i want to turn on the filament bulb i have to tap on my smartphone again if i click the filament bulb will turn on like that i can easily control that ac 220 volt load from my smartphone as you can see as i am not connected any load with relay 2 and relay 4 so i am not using this switch 2 and switch 4 so this is very helpful you can control your home appliance from your smartphone with this simple circuit and i have also shared the code in the description please take proper precaution while working with 220 volt supply if you have any question or feedback please comment below please give a thumbs up if you like the project and share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe our channel for more such videos thank you for watching have a great day